Udemy has launched an amazing coding feature that allows you to add coding exercise to your courses. So what I'll be doing in this video is that I'll be breaking it down step by step how you can effectively use this coding exercise in your course to create practical examples and let your courses stand out amongst others. So with that said, let's jump right into it, right? So here I'm going to switch to my instructor profile. I'm just going to select one of my complete courses, select curriculum, right? Select add item to one of the sections and then select coding exercise. So here you're going to give the coding exercise uh, example, right? So let's say querying data, select add coding exercise and then over over it and then select the pencil icon. So from the drop down, you have various languages that you can choose from. Now, if you are doing something like TSQL, right, you can use SQLite. Most of the syntax will work, right? So let's select start creating. Here, just provide the learning objective, right? For example, students will be able to query table effectively after this lesson, right? And then you'll just fill out that information here. So the next step is to select next. Here, you have the solution section and then the setup section, right? So here they have a sample table and an insert statement. So basically this is creating a virtual table and inserting data within that table. And on the solution section, you'll be able to write the solution for the practice questions that you plan to give to the students. So I'm going to put a sample table called employee here and I'll be providing some sample insert statement as well. Now on this section, I'll be writing the solution. So let's say one of my questions will be find the employee whose ID number is 2, right? So on this section, I'll be writing the select query. So I'm going to say select asterisk from employee where employee ID is equal to 2. So now let's execute this query and we should be getting James Smith as the result, right? So James Smith, ID number 1, department number, department ID 102. So the next step is to select next to go to the next page. So here you're going to set up your instruction, right? So here you'd say find the employee, ID number is 2. So I'm just keeping it really simple guys, right? And here I could also say please see sample table below and I'm going Going to add my table here right so the data is not really relevant and then i'll just highlight this and put it in a script right now the starter file is where you can set up starter queries right so we could say select so we could say select equal to and we leave it at that and then save right you can also add related lectures however i don't have any uploaded at this point you can also add in so you could here you could explain the select statement, the where clause, whatever you want to add here. And then for the solution explanation, you could put the solution and then explain it here, right? So here I'm just going to select publish. Now I'm going to preview learner experience. And this is what the learner will see, right? Find an employee whose ID number is 2. Please see sample table below. So now the student will need to complete this query here. So I'm just going to say select asterisk from employee. The employee ID equal to. Now let's run the query. And it returned the result as expected. So this is how you can use a coding exercise to boost your courses. So this is how you can use a coding exercise to boost your courses and increase engagement. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.